that's what you want to do, then our conversation's over. And, you know, if we want to work it out, make sure that we get it worked out of school. I'm more than happy to visit with you, sit down with you, talk to you. A tense battle between Sequoia Public Schools and a mother scared for her child. Now the mom says her son came home from school with a concussion, telling her that he had been bullied. But when the school never notified her, she says it was a huge red flag. Two Works For You reporter Ashley Holt tells us why the district's response encouraged her to get the authorities involved. These boys pretty much caused a severe concussion to my child and had no punishment. Her son tells me after playing a football game at recess, he went to the bathroom and three boys followed him. He got me, tackled me to the ground, and um, and then he got on me, slammed my head on the ground four times. Mom says when he got home, she immediately took him to urgent care. Doctors diagnosed him with a concussion. I was shocked. I, you know, you, you would expect the school to protect your child and I felt that they did not protect my child. She called the district for answers, recording one of her conversations with Superintendent Terry Saul, who told a different story. And your son was telling people they sucked and was pushing on them at the recess. And then when they went to the bathroom, it was him and one other student. He claims, as he told me over the phone, that this mother's son was the aggressor. We have two kids that got into a tiff and we settled it. We didn't feel like there was a need for any consequence. I mean, the school nurse said he had, didn't he have a gnaw on his head. Both the mother and superintendent confirmed the only consequence given to all of the boys was having their bathroom passes revoked. He's suffering and these boys are at school like nothing happened. Her son telling me he feels like his only option when he goes back is to fight or switch schools. People won't know me that well and they probably won't bully me because they don't know me well. Mom says she filed a police report and consulted attorneys, something the superintendent clearly wasn't happy about. Most of the time we got great kids and great families and we work things out and we do it in our own little household. But if you want to take it out somewhere else, I'm done with you. Her son saying he just wants to stay away from bullies, sharing with me his message to those who hurt others. If you want people to treat you nice, you treat them back how you want to be treated. I spoke with the Rogers County Sheriff's Office. They say they are investigating this case. I also reached out to the district to let them know about the story. They didn't wish to talk to us on camera, but the superintendent insists that the district did handle the situation appropriately. Reporting live out of Claremore, Ashley Holt, Two Works For You.